Have you ever heard of the peacock mantis shrimp? If yes, congratulations. Most people haven't. If not, don't worry. You're about to learn all about it, and it's pretty amazing. Now, its name is a little misleading, but fortunately, it's not a ridiculous combination of a peacock, a praying mantis, and a shrimp. It does, however, share some interesting characteristics with these animals. The peacock mantis shrimp is a marine crustacean, which grows to around 7 inches. It thrives in warm tropical water and generally lives in burrows or cracks between rocks. Its diet consists mainly of shelled animals, such as mollusks and crabs, and it often hunts animals larger than itself. There are hundreds of varieties of the mantis shrimp, but the peacock mantis shrimp is certainly the coolest. Like a peacock, it is very colorful, its appendages share many characteristics with those of the praying mantis, and its exoskeleton is very similar to that of a shrimp. They have a carapace, a segmented abdomen, pleopods, parapods, and many more features in common. This suggests that they share a common ancestor. The peacock mantis shrimp bears a particularly close resemblance to the pistol shrimp, as they both utilize an energy amplification system. This system allows the peacock mantis shrimp to smash aquarium glass. Yes, you heard me right, it can smash aquarium glass. But how does it do this? Each of the peacock mantis shrimp's two appendages consist of three major parts, the mirrors, carpus, and propus, which work together to launch the dactyl, a hard callus-like structure, forwards at up to 52 miles per hour. The dactyl itself is very hard as a result of a high phosphorus content on the striking surface. The material behind the striking surface has high levels of carbon, magnesium, and calcium, allowing it to be flexible enough to absorb the impact rather than cracking. Inside the mirrors, the flexor muscle contracts, pulling on the mural V bone, which acts as a latch, locking the carpus in place to prevent the extension of the propus, which the dactyl is connected to. The extensor muscle then contracts, compressing the saddle bone. When the flexor muscle releases, the latch is released and the saddle bone springs back to its original shape, forcing the propus to extend very rapidly. This rapid acceleration of the appendage through water results in a cavitation bubble, which releases a powerful shockwave when it collapses. The appendage's motion forces water molecules apart rapidly. Friction between the molecules generates an enormous amount of heat, several thousand degrees Celsius, which vaporizes a small pocket of water. When the pocket collapses back on itself, it releases a shockwave that, while not as powerful as the direct impact of an appendage, can cause damage to predators and prey. When peacock mantis shrimp fight crabs as large or even larger than themselves, the crabs usually die. Within 800 microseconds, the crab can be hit with four major impacts, the larger two being direct impacts of the appendages, which can exert up to 1500 newtons of force, and the smaller, but still significant two, being the shock waves from cavitation bubbles. Another impressive evolutionary trait of the peacock mantis shrimp is its eyes. Like human eyes, they have cones which allow them to see color. They also have omatidia, clusters of photoreceptor cells, in their eyes, and these are comparable to those of many insects. What really sets their eyes apart, however, is that they have 16 color cones compared to a human's three. This allows the peacock mantis shrimp to quickly identify various colors and also shows them a wide range, into the ultraviolet and infrared zones. The peacock mantis shrimp's eyes consist of two hemispheres, and these are separated by six rows of roughly 1,700 omatidia each. Each row is responsible for specific colors. The top four rows provide vision similar to that of humans, and include omatidia that see a wide range into the ultraviolet section. The lower two rows have very tiny hairs in the omatidia, which is believed to allow for polarized vision. This structure results in a rather limited field of view, but they compensate for that by constantly moving each of their eyes independently. By receiving light across such a large surface, they can perceive distance of objects with only one eye, while humans require two. The ability to see a wide range of colors helps the peacock mantis shrimp survive in a colorful environment. For example, a rock and a snail underwater may look very similar to a human, but because the peacock mantis shrimp can see so many different colors, a snail would likely be a very obvious snack. Besides being an interesting and amazing creature, why would anyone want to study the peacock mantis shrimp? Well, the chemical makeup of the dactyl, the hard structure on the appendage, has been studied for possible implementation in materials such as body armor. 
It is also interesting to study to gain greater understanding of how evolution works, as appendages and eyes are both excellent examples of that process. Its DNA sequence can also be studied so that, at some point in the future, a genetic modification system such as CRISPR could allow people to have extra color cones. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about the peacock mantis shrimp, there is lots of good information online. In particular, Roy Cadwell and Mark Kruska and John Klanner provide excellent information. Thanks for watching!